All right, everybody, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to Azaria's Taste Test, a food review series where I try things out for the first time and give you my honest opinion. So, so today, I'm going to be trying something that I've been wanting to try for a very long time. I got some Jolly Bees. <laughs> I got some Jolly Bees. So, this is going to be like kind of like a love hate review, kind of. The reason why I say that is because some of y'all might love it, some of y'all might hate it. Because I didn't get the regular, typical order that you see people reviewing the Jolly Bee. Because I've never had Jolly Bee before. And I felt as if I, if, I felt as if, if I got what everybody else got, and I didn't like it, that would be ultimately disappointed. Like, I want to save the best stuff for last. So, I kind of started all small, right? And this is pretty much what I got in the bag. I got the... The peach mango pie, I would have got the pineapple coconut, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of like the, the coconut taste like that. So I got the peach mango pie, like we'll see what it's hitting for. Um, I got their spicy chicken sandwich. It comes with like spicy sriracha mayo and uh, jalapeno. Um, I got a side of mashed potatoes and gravy, because on DoorDash they didn't give me the option to get the gravy by itself so unfortunately I ended up getting mashed potatoes and gravy so maybe that'll be a way for me to try the infamous gravy that everybody be raving about and um I got a side of a uh, medium size a medium size fry a regular size fry which isn't all that I mean, it's right here, so you guys see. I know my hand look a little bit weird because of the way I'm holding it, but that's the fry cup. So um, let, me, let me let me get everything organized right here. Right, let me at least take. There we go. Yeah. All right, so let me. See. Oh, and I also got their yeah their pineapple quencher straight from the Philippines like I think they get their mix from the Philippines or something and then they mix it in the store okay there we go alright so let me see if I can get all this in one shot you know you gotta make the, the fancy thumbnail yeah. here oh, wait, wait, you, you, you gotta do this for the thumbnail hold on There we go. All right. <laughs> all right. So, all together, this cost me like eleven dollars or something. It wasn't that pricey whatsoever, but uh, I definitely have been wanting to try out Jolly Bees for a number of years, and DoorDash finally had an option because I think a place opened up nearby. So I said, "Fuck it, let's do a food review." So first things first, since I got like these little loose fries in the bag, let's try these fries. And they're fucking cold. The lady did take a minute to get to me. I will say that. So some of the fries are cold. So here's the fries. I mean the fries are decent. If the, like the fries are kind of giving basic bitch energy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to front. I don't know if somebody's going to get mad at me for that. But I'm thirsty though. So now's the time to see what this pineapple pressure is hitting for. Look, look like they got real pineapples up in there. Let's see what it's hitting for. Pineapple, sugar, and water. That's all I'm tasting in this. It's decent. It's not all that. It's decent. But it's good to know they use real pineapple juice in it. Because you can taste it. Um, next thing. Let's try out this, uh, these mashed taters. Try out these mashed taters and gravy. Let's see what this hitting for. 
I don't see any napkins. Mashed taters. See what this gravy is, everything that y'all be raving about. Or is it all cap? Like the mashed potatoes are fine. I mean, with the gravy, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Hold up. Fries in the gravy. My fat ass. I don't know, maybe y'all got like a better location than I do. And maybe y'all got a better location than I do, but the gravy really not hitting like that. Or maybe I just got to get the spicy chicken and dip it in the gravy in order to really understand what, what everybody be raving about. I don't know, it's just not doing it for me. I don't know, maybe next time I should actually get like the, the, the spicy chicken and with the side of gravy because that's always seems to be like the star of the show. Yeah, I'm not really convinced that gravy is all that. Maybe next time I'll have a better experience with it, but right now that shit ain't it. It's, it's okay, don't get me wrong, it's okay. But it's not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody and their mama exaggerate about that damn gravy and act like it's the second coming of Christ. Well, if that gravy was supposed to be the second coming of Christ, he could stay where he at. All oh, praises to the most high. Now, let's check out this peach mango pie. Let's see what this is hitting for. It's warm. Ooh, it's warm. It's hot. It's crispy. Hold on. Let's see if I can hear that crunch. That crust. Oh, yeah. Dude, peach mango pie. <laughs> All right. This year right here, man, I should have got two of these. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, this fire. Let me not eat all that in one go. God damn sure it's about to. <laughs> oh, that was good. That peach mango pie? It's like that. Yeah. I'm mad I didn't get two of them, motherfucker. Let's see what this chicken sandwich is doing. Alright. This is the chicken sandwich right here. The spicy chicken sandwich. Wow. In the picture, it looked like they put four slices of jalapeno. They put two little bitty ass slices. They barely put any of the spicy mayo on there. So how the fuck am I supposed to have a... They didn't put... Oh, most of, it's, most of the sriracha mayo is on the top bun. It's on the crown. But why the fuck they were so lazy they only put two slices of jalapeno in there? Like, what the fuck? Like, they charging y'all about a slice? Damn, that's kind of... At least put four slices of jalapeno on there. I guess it's a blessing in disguise because I didn't really care for the jalapeno any fucking way. But still, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Anyway, down the hatch.
I, I need to eat that spicy chicken with a side of gravy. I see why y'all saying what y'all saying. I couldn't really get the full effect of it because I kind of dipped it in the mashed potatoes with the gravy on it. But that gravy by itself with the spicy chicken? I apologize for what I said earlier. Takesy backsies. So, how do I rate my Jolly Bee experience? Well, overall, it's not a thumbs down. It's not necessarily a thumbs up, even though it had a few surprises that caught me off guard. I will say it's like a midway thumb. I'm going to tell you why. The fries are okay. All right, the fries are okay. The pineapple quencher, it's fine. But I would have been better off getting like a starry lime or something like that. Like, I would have been better off getting like a starry Sprite. It's not really all that. Um, the chicken sandwich is good, but for the price, it's kind of small. And I could have got a, a better value at like Popeyes, literally. Like I would have made me get like a whole combo meal from Popeyes. Plus a, uh, another sandwich on top of that, and it would have been like cheaper than what um, all this was. It only cost me. It, it would. It would. I would have got more. For, for, I would have got more for my money, you know. So yeah, but the flavor of the chicken sandwich is actually really good. And when, when I dipped it in that mashed potatoes and gravy, the gravy on that chicken, that's nice. That was one of the surprises. But the star of the show is this motherfucker right here. This shit. This shit right here. I almost want to try that pineapple and coconut one. Just to see if I'm going to like it. Because this shit right here caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I was going to like the peach mango pie so much. But that, bruh. Look. Y'all know I don't do no cap. I don't sit here and exaggerate nothing. I don't... You know what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person. I don't do the over-the-top acting like everything is just oh so good and orgasmic. No, I don't do that. But believe me when I tell you this, unless you're allergic to like mangoes or peaches or anything like that, or maybe like fried dough or something like I don't know. But if you can eat this, get it. And get two of them. I'm t listen, get two of them. Get two of them things. You will thank me later. So... Overall, I kind of give this yeah, like a sideways thumb. It was, it was, it was good. It's kind of teetering in between like a side, a middle thumb and like an upper thumb. It's kind of like right there in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like some things could have been better. The gravy by itself, again, it could just be my location, but the gravy by itself wasn't hitting like that. It, it, it wasn't. Um, the fries, and it could be because the dasher took a minute to get to me. They were somewhat cold. When, when he finally made it to me. Um, so that's a disappointment. I couldn't get them as, as fresh as I could have gotten them. Had they drove straight to me. But um, yeah. But. It is what it is. So if you guys ever get a chance to check out Jolly Bees. I say check them out. My first experience with Jolly Bees, it was cool. I like it. That peach mango pie though, is hitting on a different level. So remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, show no mercy to food.